Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Astrological Intentions. I am your host, Alex Reevy, along with the orchid organizer herself, <laughs> Sandy Reevy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Alex. It is episode 301, the week of April 30th. Let's get right into it in the transits. We start off today, April 29th, Monday, Venus Ingress Taurus. Woohoo! Increased charm. April 30th, Tuesday, Mars ingress Aries. Woohoo! And the males are ready and willing. Same day, Venus square Pluto. Stay above the line. And May 2nd, Thursday, Pluto stations retrograde. Stand alone. And May 3rd, Friday, Mars sextile Pluto. Innovating fire. We've got new talismans waiting for you. A an announcement for the talisman of the month, our summer solstice constellation bracelet workshop, and a Taurus season meditation for you. So stay tuned for this episode of Astrological Intentions. I say go do you. Now travel far, share your stories and earn your scars. It's you. Say you are the one you will answer to when this life is done. Don't waste a minute. Jump in the river. Wash yourself clean so you can deliver you. Hello, Orchid Organizer. I know why now, because you see this really massive, multicolored, really it's multi-plants in one big pot. Of all planter. different colors of orchids. They're all various heights and so pretty. And we are going to be hand delivering that to a friend who just got out of the hospital after a surgery. So mm -hmm. wishing them well and being there physically and also in spirit. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, we're going to do that and food and bread and brownies. He, lo he loves donuts. So good. And brownies. That. And brownies. And, <laughs> all and the food. things. All the things. All the he bad wants. things that he needs to, uh, <laughs> that he enjoys and loves to get healthy. Comfort mm -hmm. foods. Yeah. Well, it's always nice <clears throat> because it's never easy to be healing and cooking at the same time. So. Well, no, he's got a lot of support there. So mm -hmm. it's really feeding the masses. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. All right, so it is episode 301, week of April 30th. Um, getting super excited. We're starting a whole new month of May. I have a the Taurus season um, meditation for you at the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. Those are so um, awesome. But before we get there, I want to go direct to all you listeners. Thank you so much for your feedback. It really is our soul food, so keep it coming. We, we never get tired of the emails and the feedback, so... If you haven't yet, we need to hear your name. <laughs> Please. We need to see your name on here. All right. So this message is from Melissa. She's a veterinarian in New Hampshire. And she says, five stars, magical <laughs> experience. Mm. My daughter and I met Sandy mm -hmm. and her daughter, aka me, in Phoenix <laughs> at the I Can Do It conference. It was almost happenstance we met, but the universe clearly aligned to make this happen. I met with Sandy for her to create my personal intention talisman, and it was perhaps the most beautiful experience I've ever had. Ah, Who Ooh. would have known that learning about my natal chart and astrology would unlock so much for me mm. and bring me so much clarity to my myself and my life? I am forever grateful for this encounter and cannot wait, but I will, for my <laughs> talisman. And this has been such a magical journey. Sandy is a true gift. That's beautiful. It Actually, is. I'm working with her and her daughter. Right. Uh. Right. How cool. A mother daughter yeah. came in, well, came mm. to the I Can Do It show. One, that's awesome. And two, we got to meet them and they were really excited about starting and solidifying mm -hmm. their talisman. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it would be cool if you could. They could come on a retreat with us, mother right. daughter, because we always thought we'd do a mother daughter retreat kind of right. uh, gig. Uh, but you know, that might have been the dream I had. <laughs> I think I dreamt that uh, type of of testimony, um, because remember you said uh, when we were starting here, you're like uh, blah 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 blah, and I was like, yeah, I had a dream of one that came in, and it was that one. <laughs> So maybe I read it and went to sleep. Maybe and could about have been, it. but it is. It's such a beautiful. It's such <laughs> yeah, a beautiful so one. Beautiful. So thank and you, I love, Melissa. Love the fact that um, this is a busy woman, right? Big, big. She's doing a lot of really cool stuff, and that the fact that she found the you know a key uh, to unlock her abilities uh, that she's been even deeper, yeah, right? and understanding that this is her pathway, right. So, yes, um, 
of course, we highly recommend the personal talismans. It is a really wonderful time for you to give yourself that value and that permission to go for what you want. What is your intention? What is your affirmation that you want to tell yourself every day? And there's a beautiful talisman that goes along with that. Um, It's really cool too, because you'll see that this week we got Venus going into our domicile. We have Mars going into his domicile. So these are two personal planets that have a massive effect on our life. And they're, they're moving into an area of the sky Uh, somewhere in your chart Mm -hmm. that is beneficial for something to, you know, stand in and to take action with. Right. Right. So it's a great time for personal talismans, you guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's move into the transits where we start the week off with today, April 29th, Venus Ingress Taurus. Yeah. So finally at 630 in the morning, yay, as we're getting up, she is rising above the horizon, right before the sun, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's increased charm. She now is co-present with the greater benefic Jupiter. That's really nice. Um, She and her attendants are luxurating in fine silks, Mm -hmm. right? So uh, the last time they were together, the two benefics, Venus and Jupiter, um, these are called the two benefics. The greater benefic is Jupiter. The lesser benefic is Venus. And when they were in Taurus sign was March of twelve of twenty twelve. And oh, wow. yeah, yeah, the next time they were co present. And you 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 do want, I mean, I uh, you want a particularly a co presence with the benefics when they're in one of their own either exaltation placements or. Um, their domiciles, right? Mm -hmm. Um, The best would be when they're both in Pisces, but that already happened two years ago and we have another 10 years to wait for that. Mm -hmm. But the next time we're going to get this, the Jupiter, um, the Venus Jupiter, the two benefics I'm talking about, back in Taurus won't be till March of 2036. Mm. And I just think that's like, you know, let's grab that Taurian energy and get, and again, this is what is your, your Taurus rising. Mm-hmm. So any Taurus risings or sun and Taurus people will have the grace and the, the beneficence of these two um, planets really gracing this area of your chart. Maybe it's time for a personal talisman for me. Hey, when you got Jupiter coming up over your horizon, you're only going to get it once because you're a 22 Taurus and it's kind of happening now. Let's do it. Let's do it. (laughs) That'd be fun. Um, Okay. So is that all we want to discuss? Yeah. So, you know, again, increase charm, increase the bounty. It's Taurian, uh, earth, natural ability, tangible goods. Again, that's why I say, you know, she's luxuriating um, in her- Luxuriating? Luxuriating. Is it a verb? Um, I hope so. Because it's- it's, (laughs) We made it that way. (laughs) Uh, and fine silks and good wines mm-hmm. and great chocolates and really um, maybe a bag of potato chips um, because she's needing to have earthly earthly values. Mm-hmm. Right. Tangible desires. Yeah. Luxuriate is a verb, by okay. the way. So. Okay, let's move on. We have April 30th, Tuesday. We have two transits here. The first is Mars Ingress Aries. Yeah, this is at 1033 in the morning. So just as we're kind of revving up, um, if we if we feel that Tuesday the 30th, we're a little slow uh, until about 1030, then mm-hmm. we're, we're uh, that's kind of- On your mark. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's proper energy. Uh, because here, Mars is going into his place of- energized bunny right so and the males are ready and waiting right and willing it's time to go get set it's time it reminds me of that scene in eat pray love no you've seen it how many not as many times as i have no not but nearly. seen that that scene where they're sitting and she's reading and he's reading and he looks over at her and then he puts the you know, a soundtrack on, you know, he puts a mixed tape in right, right. that he makes and he kind of walks over to her and said, honey, it's time. 
Right. right. It reminds me of that. It's like, now is the time to move forward. Mm-hmm. Now is the time. We've got Mercury's no longer and retrograde. The lead. Right. Venus is in her own sign of taking her time and feeling adored and charming. And now Mars, boom, is ready to like tackle um, what needs to be, you know, moved. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. um, a lot going on this Monday, Tuesday. Um, yeah. And so Tuesday, the second uh, transit we have is Venus square Pluto. So boom, you know, because right now, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, Pluto is retrograde. So he's stationed right at the two degrees. So, of course, uh, this Venus, she is comes up to two degrees and squares. Right. So she kind of butts into him. Um, So stay above the line. Hades, Pluto, may be pulling you into an abyss. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that you want to go there, right? Go down a cesspool, you know, getting pulled down as a square. So this could be a tough, a little tough um, period of, you know, I'm thinking negative thoughts. I'm falling into Mm -hmm. my old habits, um, something like that. That that sounds very – so when you said stay above the line, it also – you know, when you're talking about like marketing or advertising above the fold is usually like that was like prime time placement in newspapers. Oh. It was above the fold. And um, now in websites, they say the same thing huh. above the, you know, above the fold of the what you immediately land on. Oh. And so if you can stay there and you can stay in this like kind of headliner type of place, mm-hmm. maybe that's another way to look at this transit is staying don't go too deep down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Stay kind of you might with get your stuck. head. Right. And I, and I do say, unless, mm-hmm. dot, 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 you need to get the truth of a, of a relationship. Like, is mm-hmm. this a true relationship or is this a, you know, um, you know, a, 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 a kind of a fallacy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so... You know, Venus square Pluto wants to get the truth. Right. And, you know, sometimes we don't really want the truth unless it's a really good relationship that you want to uh, know, um, know the honesty of it, know the power of it, know the the profound, profound um, um, connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's move on. May 2nd, we have another transit on Thursday. May 2nd, Pluto stations retrograde. Right. So here, you know, we we were just talking about the 30th. He's stationing for retrograde, really, when Venus meets him. But here is he's actually moving backwards now. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this is to stand alone. I want to um, I want to quote Aaron Sullivan here. Uh, Rest in peace, Aaron. Thank you for your retrograde um, research and um, historical book that you've written that I think all astrologers have, just called Retrograde Planets, Um, a really deep dive into what the retrogrades of all the planets mean and what they interact with. And what she writes here is, um, Pluto requires one to descend into the deepest recesses of one's soul to stand alone, f- find your integrity and value in that isolation. Should I reread that? Because that's sure, kind yeah. of a, um, you know, she says Pluto requires one to descend into the deepest recesses of your soul. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you go into a place where, um, you don't usually look. Right. Right. And you stand alone. Right. You're by yourself. Could be a little bit scary, a little bit fearful. Mm-hmm. Uh, you find your integrity. Right. What you believe in from the deep core of self. Yeah. Find that value in that. In your isolation. Right. This mm-hmm. is the entire time that this Pluto is going to be going retrograde is in what one should do. And really interesting that, you know, that on that Tuesday prior to third, you know, two days earlier, that Venus is doing that. Venus is making that connection to that square to Pluto. Venus is n- never 
made this aspect um, from her own sign. So it's really about cleaning up, you know, Pluto, cleaning up what um, is your strong value and integrity. Hmm. Well, you don't look to anybody else. It's not like, uh, well, uh, well how, how do I believe in that? Help me, help me understand that. Uh, I'm going with them. I agree with them. All right. No, yeah. it's like, do it on your own. And okay. I'm really finding this a lot in some of my, with my client work is people are coming, coming, coming and standing on their own. Um, and finding their own power. Yeah. And kind of like, like, like Melissa said is unlock. Mm -hmm. you know? And we're wrapping up the week with Friday, May 3rd, Mars sextile Pluto. So here, this is an innovating fire. And so this is like, you know, use this wisely. Now, this is Mars and Pluto. Now, they're making a uh, sextile, which is 60 degrees, and it's more of an opportunity to invig invigorate your fire. So use it wisely. Take, um, taking fire to the, to the core of the isolation with purpose, right? So mm -hmm. what happens when Pluto goes retrograde, just as I said earlier, is to find one soul, look at one soul and find value and integrity. But Mars is here going, you know, let's take, let's bring fire to it. Let's, let's really sharpen our, sharpen our tools with this um, internal value, internal fire, right? So we right. want to be, we want to use this wisely and this is not accusatory or this is not afflicting wounds or pains on anyone, right? Because it's giving us an opportunity to sharpen our, um, our, um, our will. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, there sounds, sounds. It's a big week. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a lot, but it is very intense and intentional. Um, just as a quick reminder, everybody, we do have an opportunity for you to download your natal chart on our website. Head over to intentionbeads.com slash chart, and you can follow along with these transits personally in your own chart. So talisman times, you have finished up two talismans, the first to honor both needs for connection and independence. Mm -hmm. This affirmation is, I dance in the harmony as my emotions are illuminated, fostering balance and peace in all my interactions. There is a noticeable symphony in all my bonds. I really like this. This is the moon in mm -hmm. Libra making an opposition to... Uh, Venus, it, it's the moon's ruler, um, and the Venus is in Aries. Aries. So there's mm -hmm. this like opposition tug of war of I'm trying to be uh, with you, but I also need my independence. Right. And I value my independence. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So then the other talisman is to command respect and admiration. This is made on the same day, April 22nd. Mm -hmm. Each step I take leads me closer to my highest aspirations. I am dedicated to excellence in all that I do. I leverage my skills and talents. This is moon in Libra opposing Venus. Yeah, in it's Aries. the same kind of energy of the moon being almost full. It's in a gibbous uh, stage and it's uh, reflecting the energy of venus from venus's sign mm -hmm. in other words take a look at yourself i hope you like it right 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 yeah um and the upcoming talismans we have three the first is to be grounded in earthly elegance i really oh. like this one my presence is magnetic drawing in positivity prosperity and genuine connections with others I find joy in indulging my senses, mm. right? This is Venus and Taurus right, coming up over the horizon. And she's a morning star. So uh, she is rising before the sun in Taurus. The sun's in Taurus. Uh, she's not yet combust. We got, as I mentioned, Jupiter's in Taurus still. So this is a really nice coming up over the horizon, like feeling grounded in earthly elegance. Mm -hmm. Again, fine tapestries. Right. Right. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, the next upcoming talisman is 
to embrace the unexpected, allowing cosmic surprises to weave magic. And if this sounds familiar, it <laughs> is, because these are those Jupiter Uranus charms that we've mm -hmm. been talking about that if it's still in April as you're listening to this, they are the talisman of the month. So you can Pop jump there, in yeah. and join the crowd and grab your charm today. Yes. The other talisman is to be grounded in my worth. That's Wednesday, May 1st. I attract love. Go ahead. I attract love, prosperity, and harmony into my life now. I am unwavering and graceful. Mm -hmm. This might be a tough one for me to get. This is, I have I did put it up on the website though. It is again, Venus in Taurus coming up over the horizon, um, heralding and announcing the sun. But I have a constellation bracelet workshop that morning at 4 a.m. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're beckoning her as she's moving into uh, the sign of Taurus. So we're, we're taking that on as a group. Mm -hmm. um, and this is shortly after. So I'm hoping to get this one uh, that our Constellation Bracelet Workshop has concluded in order for me to get this. Right. And put this on the website. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's, it is a, it's a pretty sounding one. And the new talisman of the month. So once we hit May, um, the, this talisman will be on special and will have a shipping credit for you as soon as you add it to the cart. Uh, this is to be the center of attention. I am noticed as I walk about, I possess generosity and sweetness that I willingly grant on others. We connect. Mm -hmm. This, I, I wanted to put this one on a talisman of the month special because this is the moon in Aries, mm -hmm. but it's enclosed by the benefics, Venus and Jupiter, while they're in Aries. And we have Mars moving into uh, Aries. So this Mars and Aries can, you know, in, engage this energy of when we can get the, so that means that it goes Venus at three degrees Aries, the moon at eight degrees Aries, and Jupiter's at 10 degrees Aries. And so this placement is um, that moon is enclosed here. And so the moon likes to be, you know, accompanied by the two benefics um, on either side of her. Mm -hmm. So right. um, this is always an awesome time I watch for this. This doesn't, this is, this is hard to happen sometimes uh, because it cannot make any other aspects after or before this. Mm -hmm. So right. it worked. And so right. this was done, uh, I think this was in, um, yeah, it was in 2023. I made this in February of 2023. Mm -hmm. So those are our talismans of the month. Um, if it's April, you get that Jupiter Uranus charm. And if it's May, that center of the tension is right there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to the horizon where we have finished up the May astrology forecast, which you can watch now once you join our Patreon community, if you're not there already. Um, but go ahead, click that link in the show notes and you'll be shown what our Patreon community is like. You get these uh, printable PDFs that are ready and waiting for you at... Uh, the first of the month and with those forecasts um, you get that video forecast and the pdf and you get to ask sandy and susan questions mm -hmm. monthly um, even personal questions uh, so it's a really wonderful community that we're building we would love to have you be a part of it um, also in and on the horizon, we have the Summer Solstice Constellation Bracelet Workshop. We're announcing it here. The link is coming soon. Um, the dates are June 6th through July 26th. These are multiple, um, about 13, 14 meetings that you work in a small group with Sandy making one bead at a time mm -hmm. and creating a constellation bracelet that is all your own with your own affirmations and your own connections to those transits. Um, the summer solstice is a really wonderful time for energy, exhilarating, um, a sense of fire, that Leo energy. It's that start of 
Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Um, So about health and being courageous and confident and also protecting yourself and your emotions. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, and we're going to be watching um, Saturn um, station and start his retrograde during this period. So it'll be like, what are you really working on? You know, Saturn mm-hmm. is the responsibility and the disciplinary. And so um, really finding what planets that is um, holding you back or, or holding you to your word. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Um, just as a recap, we also have, um, our two retreats for the remainder of the year, the first in Greece in September and the other in October. And that is the Egypt retreat heads up. We are, I think down to our last room for the Greece retreat, as well as the Egypt retreat, the spaces are filling up. So we would love to see you there. Um, If you are interested in joining any of the retreats or maybe a future one, you can always consider the 15-minute free reading to ask Sandy whatever questions you need. That link is, again, in the show notes. Can I I say one thing that uh, you'll probably give me a funny-looking face? You'll give me an emoji face? Sure. So I did some research in Tuscany, Uh and I've contacted two retreat um places that i could have a retreat so oh, we're, nice. wait, um, we're waiting to make a that's so, exciting yeah it's exciting because you know i've been no wanting- emoji face just a excited <laughs> emoji face uh because that's one of my next ones i'm want to put together and i think i'm going to try and see if i can put it together uh in the fall after greece of 2025 right and did to, to go there for the uh fall Okay. Fall period. Yeah, Ooh. let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Um, so without further ado, let's move into our house. I do want to, before we jump into this meditation, I do want to remind everyone that we are celebrating our 300th episode still. And so for $300, you can receive an hour reading with Sandy. Plus after that, um, after that reading's all finished, you get to select your talisman of choice that Sandy will give you some options that mm-hmm. she feels are the best direction for you and your intention. Mm-hmm. It's a $444 value for $300 since this is our 300th episode. And now we're at our 301st episode. So thank you so much, everybody, for listening over these years. And without further ado, let's jump into the Taurus season meditation. Mm. Tune in and chill out. I like that. We all have this Taurus energy within us. So let's begin by grounding ourselves and relaxing our bodies before laying flat for the meditation. Come to a tabletop position on the ground. Like the bull with all four hooves dug into the mud, place your hands below your shoulders, and your knees below your hips with a neutral spine. We will flow through a few cat-cow positions, matching our deep inhales and exhales with the movement. So take a moment to meet me there in that tabletop position. We begin with an inhale, moving into cow pose. We lift our tailbone upward, press our chest forward, allowing our belly to sink to the ground. Our head is lifted and we relax our shoulders away from our ears and gazing toward the ceiling. As you exhale, come into a cat pose while rounding your spine outward, tucking in your tailbone and drawing your pubic bone forward. Release your head towards the floor. There's no need to force your chin to your chest. Just relax. And when it's time for you to inhale again, move back into the cow pose, lifting your head and your tailbone upward, dropping your belly. When it's time to exhale, 
Return back to that cat pose while rounding your spine outward, releasing your head towards the floor, drawing in your pubic bone. And cycle through these, really connecting with your breath. And I'll meet you here for the meditation. Now that we've been able to connect to our bodies and relax, we're going to begin a passive meditation. So there's no more actions you need to take. During this short meditation, you will simply be laying or sitting still and silent. I ask you to listen, open your awareness to the moment, and maintain a sense of inner peace for yourself. I've recorded this Taurus meditation in one of my favorite parks in Chicago. Nestled beside the lakeshore is a bird sanctuary, so you will hear the sounds of the beautiful birds, as well as the bird watchers walking along the pathway, and some city sounds, like airplanes overhead approaching for landing. Use this meditation to accept yourself as you are now, to find what you're grateful for, or to simply enjoy. Let's begin. When we find a moment for stillness, it is easy to find things to be grateful for. It is the slowing down that allows our awareness to broaden, our ears to open, and our peace to surround us. As you lay here, take a moment to think of one thing you're grateful for today. Hold that thing, person, or experience. Hold it with you here within the stillness. And once you're ready, you can loosen your attention, allow your mind to wander while still feeling that sense of gratitude in your heart. I'll leave you here for a few moments and meet back with you at the end of the meditation.
And as you come back into the room, you can make some small movements with your fingers and toes, waking up your arms and legs, and waking up your full body with a nice, juicy stretch. One way we can integrate gratitude into our busy lifestyles is by taking in our surroundings. These types of mindful meditations will help you focus on the present to notice and appreciate the little things we generally take for granted. Thank you for joining me for another astrology meditation. I'll see you next time. Okay, so if you are not sleeping yet and you're in your chilled out zone, we want to thank you again for listening to Astrological Intentions and Astrology Meditations. Thank you, everybody, for um, for, for coming in there. and thank giving you. this time and space to, for you. So thank <sighs> you. All right, everybody. See you Bye. next week. I say go do you. Now travel far, share your stories and earn your scars, it's you Say you are the one you will answer to when this life is done Don't waste a minute, jump in the river Wash yourself clean so you can deliver you The story of you, the story of you The story of you, the story